This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by Delaware Electric Cooperative. Well, how many times has this happened to you? You hear the thunder, you see the lightning, the winds pick up, then there is that all too familiar sound pop. And before you know it, your lights go out. We've all been there, done that. Jeremy Tucker of Delaware Electric Cooperative tells us what to do when Mother Nature puts you in the dark. When thunder and lightning strike Delaware, sometimes the lights flicker and the power goes out. Severe weather is the leading cause of outages on Delmarva. Whenever there's a lightning storm, the wind blows, we have a lot of rain or snow, it stresses the power system and it finds the little uh, tweaks, problems within the, the power system and it causes them to go out of power. Good afternoon, Delaware. Once our Delaware Electric Cooperative members call our headquarters in Greenwood, our linemen get to work. They hop in their trucks turn on the ignition and drive to wherever members need help. During major outages, this room, DEC's dispatch center, serves as our mission control. From this room, crews are directed to areas where DEC's lines or poles are damaged, and engineers are able to backfeed or redirect power from substations to areas where members don't have electricity. As crews work to restore power, they have very clear goals. We will not stop until we get all the power outages back on. And many times when we have major outages, we seek help from other companies or we go to help other companies restore power once all of our members are back on. DEC crews often work in very dangerous conditions to restore power. These are all photos of storm damage caused by the wild weather this summer. Trees laying on lines and poles splintered in two. Members should never go near any damaged power lines or electrical equipment. Don't bother the power lines if you find a problem. Stay away from it. Call us and identify exactly where it is. We will be there as soon as we can to safely and efficiently restore power for you. Now, co-op members who experience an outage are urged to call Delaware Electric Cooperative immediately at 855-DEC-9090. You can also find outages updates on their website at Delaware.coop. Now, besides the lights, another thing to worry about when the power goes out is the food in your refrigerator and freezer. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, if the power is out for less than two hours, your food is safe to eat. Just try and keep both your refrigerator and freezer doors closed. But if your power is out for more than two hours, a freezer that is half full will keep food safe for 24 hours. A full freezer will hold food safely for roughly 48 hours. As for your refrigerator, keep recommended, it's recommended that you pack dairy, meat, fish, eggs, and spoilable leftovers in a cooler. Make sure to use a food thermometer to check your food before you eat it. Throw away any food that has reached more than 40 degrees. But a simple solution to avoid the worry over spoiled food using a generator to keep the power on, but you have to be careful. Up next on Delmarva Life, we'll go over some do's and don'ts of using a portable generator and offer a safer alternative. But first, here's a look at what's coming up in the news on First at Five on Fox 21 and later on WBOC News at 6.